Good morning. Today, we're going to stitch on some bush bowl. I need to reprint out this picture because I got that water stain right there. It makes it look like there's an alien playing left field out there. Oh, I got to take off my overshirt here because I got really hot coming up here. Oh, guys, I got a story for you. I got a big old story from you. Or from you? For you. Hmm. At least I do if I can. I, hmm. I'm un, I came up here unorganized. I brought my stuff. I brought my stuff. Pattern was up here. Nah. Oh man, I tell you what. Um, I'm gonna say this one more time, and I'm gonna say it like fifty thousand more times. And I and I apologize if you have an iPhone and you can't use it on said iPhone yet. The Pattern Keeper is the coolest thing ever the coolest thing ever. I started um, working on Old World Map 2. Oh my goodness. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to work on it. So I'm gonna work over here for a little bit. Oh man, I'm telling you. Made some good progress last night. I was gonna watch the hockey game. Um, the Abs and the Kings, the, the special stadium series that was down here at the um, Air Force Academy or whatever. And it was on local, it ended up being on local NBC, not on NBC Sports. And we couldn't get it because we kind of don't have regular TV. And so it didn't work out for us. I'm sorry, I feel dehydrated. I must drink away. Oh, Topher's out there barking away. Let me move this. Now, what did I do with the needle? That's a very important question. Oh, it wasn't very bright. I took my shirt off. I actually had pinned it in my shirt. There it is. All right, rock and roll. Okay. Anyway, I do have a story for you, but we're gonna get into the stitching first here. What shall we use first? What shall we use first? Here, I'll tell you what. Let's jump into using some darker color here. So we're going to work on kind of this side of the umpire's body. But I have a story for you guys. Just hang in there with me. Hang on. I'm going to find my other pairs of scissors because my... This is... A, I need to get these sharpened at some point. But... They're getting a little dull. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's get rid of all this extra fabric. Tuck it down here. Move this up. Get this settled. Whoop, no, no, no. Gotta get this tucked up. But I have been stitching and stitching and stitching. I've worked on Reaper. Getting closer to that end of page. I worked on Rainy Water Replace. Ended up needing to order some new floss. Could have just stopped. I am glad I ordered it because I wasn't, I'm not, I haven't been able to stop anywhere the last couple of days, but. Um, oh, sorry for the audit. It's early morning. Early in the morning. Got my minutes out here, minutes out here. Four minutes in the video. Let's begin. First, I need to see exactly where I'm at. Arthur's barking next door. Right here. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me just get this started. Hamster is happy because hamster has new food that hamster really loves. Finally found a good diet. Went to one of the local independent pet stores around here and found the right food for him, her and her sister at work. Um, and they're both very happy. So that is good news. All right, let's see. Can you guys see what I'm doing? There we go. Let's do this right now. Here, I'll tell you what. Let's bring this down. There we go. That's a little better. 
Okay, so before I get into stitching, I gotta tell you guys this because this is crazy. I have another little patient in my house right now. Thankfully, you can't hear him. Um, his, we'll leave his name uh, absent. Uh, we won't talk about his name. Let's just say that my husband calls him Chewy. And little Chewy is somebody that I've known since birth because I helped him be born. Little dog, little little puppy. And uh, he was doing amazing and he was a week away from going to his new home as a eight week old puppy when suddenly he came down with what we eventually diagnosed as encephalitis. So some kind of brain inflammation, brain tissue inflammation, brain um, infection. Don't really know for sure what it was. High fever, totally mentally abnormal. Sent him to the neurologist, they confirmed. When you see it, I mean, it's rare to see it in that young of a puppy, so you never know like what the cause is. And it came on really fast. Like he was normal one day and he was totally abnormal the next. And he was going downhill pretty quick before we started him on therapy and some super ridiculously strong antibiotics and drugs and all kinds of other things. And he survived. But he got brain damage from just how severe, I mean, his little young impressionable mind, very sensitive to the effects of bad things. And so um, he is very mentally abnormal right now. Um, and over the course of the last week, week and a half, he's been going downhill. Um, not eating on his own, not, um, you know, going from walking some to not walking at all, to getting dehydrated, to getting more and more lethargic. And he came in to see me on Friday. His mama brought him in to me and afraid or thinking that this might be time because all he did was just cry. He just, rah, 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 you know, just crying nonstop. And I mean, it, it looked bad. It looked bad. But as I told you guys in that story not too long ago about the other dog that did really poorly mentally after suffering brain injury and it took a while for him to come back, but now he's a totally normal, healthy dog. I'm going to give this one a chance. And I told him, listen, let me have the dog. Let me have the dog for at least the weekend. Let me see what I can do at home. And if I can't get it, if I can't improve him at all by by you know the beginning of the week, then you know we may have to let him go. And the first day at work, I, I could not figure out like he just cried and howled and just nonstop. I mean I'm like this dog has to sleep, you know you have to sleep, little man. And he wouldn't sleep and trying all these different things and then I took him over to a friend's house on my way home from work I figured she's um she's a, a mother and a grandmother and uh, I figured she would want to see this little guy see what she thought and took, took him over there and she started loving on him and whatnot and she's like you know go get some different puppy food, get all kinds of different canned puppy. I mean, I know this and I was going to do this, but she's like, you know, go do this right now. You go out and get it right now. I want to feed this puppy. So I was like, okay. So I went out, bought some really gooey, smells amazing puppy food and brought it back. And she spent it took a half an hour, if not 45 minutes, to feed him, like, a third to a half of a can. And he fought the whole time. But she was very patient, and she just encouraged. And even though I felt like he, he didn't know absolutely, he didn't know anything of what was going on, he definitely was able to intake that food. It was very messy, but he took it in. 
And then after he took it in, he went and he lay down for a little bit and he wanted to sleep for about 15 minutes, which was what we wanted him to do. So when I brought him home that night and he's still howling, 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 I fed him another, I fed him a whole half of a can, got a half a can into him. And we're talking like a big, like 13 ounce can, not a small, tiny little can, a big can. And um, got all that in him. And uh, he howled all through the night. I mean, it was a rough night. We put him way down in the basement, put a radio on, put a fan on, because um, this is what he'd been doing for days. And I'm like, well, I mean, my goal at that point was simply to try to get as much food into him as I could and hope that it was malnutrition and some level of starvation that was causing him to act like that. I mean, on top of his brain disease. Because um, he certainly can't heal if he's not taking in enough food. But he, it's, it's really, it, in the beginning, it was really hard to feed him because he just, I mean, you'd have to see it to understand. But it was, I mean, if you've, you know, you guys are probably, a lot of you guys are moms out there. So trying to feed like the most fussy, angry, upset baby that just took like forever to feed because they were so fussy. That's what it was. And so, um, I like, so the next morning, Saturday morning, woke up, he had been howling and went and, um, I'm highlighting here. I went and uh, fed him another like half a can and then um, took him into work. He likes the car, so he actually like settles down when he's in the car, which is cool. Oh, wrong ones, wrong ones. And, uh, but we got to work, he woke up again, took him in, he wandered around crying, crying, crying. Made him a little bed in the back and he cried for a little bit, for about half an hour and whatnot. And then he fell asleep. And he slept for the next, like, three hours while I was at work. It was amazing. And then I woke him up at about one. Clean my glasses here. Fed him another half a can. Put him back. Brought him home. Put him to, put him to bed, so to speak. Um, the, the, the dogs have been very, like, what the heck is this creature? Because this creature doesn't act like a dog. And so they were pretty weirded out at first because of all the howling and the barking. Um, and they're still curious. They just quite don't know what to make of them. And um, they, they pretty much ignore them now. But uh, so we went out. We had some wings yesterday. I needed a break. And uh, got some wings, came back. He was still asleep. Got him up about, well, he got up about five. Fed him about a third of a can. He went back to sleep for a couple more hours. Woke up, went around, fed him another third of a can. And then he slept through the night. And this morning, you know, he got stronger on Saturday. He definitely, um, he was definitely in need of nutrition because he went from not being able to, to do very much to... Um, suddenly being able to uh, get up and walk around better. Now, he's still very mentally abnormal. Um, I'm trying to look over here for what I'm doing here. One, two, three. Okay. Come down here. Yeah, right here. Okay, cool. Um, but he's up and exploring, and I'm liking, I, I could swear I thought he heard something today, because he's blind, um, and he's deaf, but I, I really don't think that it is true blindness, true deafness. I think it's lack of cognition, meaning that he, he may hear it, but he doesn't hear it, 
Like the sounds reach him, but he is not even aware of what a sound is. Well, that one came out a little bit. Um, I think that's what's going on with him. But this morning when I was I was up in the kitchen, on the kitchen floor feeding him, and the dogs all started barking, and he kind of turned his head a little bit towards him. Give me a little hope that maybe he was already starting to get a little bit of that kind of cognition back. So, but he's getting better at, he walks into a, a wall and then he turns himself around. So he wasn't, he's not ever been doing that. So I have faith. I have faith that he's going to improve. Now, will he ever be totally normal? I do not know. But my goal is to get him to a point where he can eat on his own. He is drinking on his own, which is great. And he won't eat on his own. He'll lick at the food. But he hasn't quite grasped the opening his mouth, grabbing the food, putting it in his mouth. Um, you have to still kind of put the food in his mouth. And it's hard because, number one, it's very straw jaw tone. So, and he clamps down on you. He's already, he's bitten me in the stance of, like, um, trying to get food in his mouth. And then he clamps down. So I've gotten a few chompers that way, and uh, but he's um, he's getting stronger every day, and I'm I'm thrilled right now. So I'll keep giving you guys updates, progress updates. No, he's not going to be a permanent member of our home. He has a home, um, and his new family that we're going to come and get him are heartbroken that he's going through this. Now, he has quite the personality, I'm telling you, he does. And there's something about him that is very, that is special. And so I, I mean, and I, you could say, oh, you're just saying that because you have him at home and you're working with him. And I say no, because I've had other dogs at home that, I, you know, that came into the home and they weren't my dogs. And I was like, yeah, you know, they're cool dogs, you know, they're, cool dogs and they, they were very much loved by their families but they I had no real connection with them um, but this one just it's there's just something about him he's so feisty and I love it just love how feisty he is so anyway that that's been my weekend so far besides how also working so I am I am tired I'm actually pretty hungry right now too. I should eat. Um, but he uh, he's downstairs asleep, which is great. And what was great yesterday? Because I mean, I'll tell you what. Friday night was hard. It was really hard. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So let's talk about stitching. Let's talk about. Where we're at with that. Um, so yeah, I worked on, well I worked on Rainy Waterloo, but then I ordered some floss, which has been shipped. Um, I'll probably get it before the next um, video, but I probably won't be doing any stitching on those projects. Uh, I'll do some for the next week. Oh, so. That'll be good. Um, is that right here? Yeah, right here. Uh, so, but I got Rainy Waterloo done. I really need a couple different colors that are that I, that I have missing right now, and that I can't finish the page until I have them. But I did make some progress on it, which was good. Reaper I told you about, and then I started working on Old World Map 2, and I filled in a few of the colors, like I said, it's it's slow going because I have, I, I still need to go in and highlight all those little squares that I've stitched on that page, and it's just kind of hard to go through and one thing at a time, so I kind of want to stitch one, um, one little thing at a time. 
one little thing at a time. Oh man, I'll tell you what, I, if I don't get something to eat right now, I am not gonna finish this video. So I'm gonna pause you guys for a second and go get something. Okay, food has been ingested and I'm feeling much better about it. Hi. I went and got this uh, chicken biscuit that I had not eaten for breakfast yesterday morning and uh, ate it. And then I, at the last little piece I gave a little bit of chicken to uh, Mercury. And I think he's going to, you know, like me a little bit more today because of that. <laughs> he's also going to probably beg for me a little bit more. So, whatever. Whatever makes him happy. He's a good kitty. Okay. What are you doing, kitty? All right, let's figure this out. Man, I'm just like, I'm all over the place with this project. Like the stitching and... Okay. Oh, you know what I should highlight since I'm doing that. But I'm gonna get some good progress on baseball. It deserves some progress. <clears throat> Old Bo Meester's doing better. I'm so happy about that. Had his had the little portable, not portable, a little uh, defibrillator put inside of his chest in case he ever has another heart episode, which is excellent. Eh? Excellent. Eh? No more problems. No more, no more trying to die. He's really lucky that he had that at this, right there at the facility. I mean, any place else. What are you doing? What are you doing, cat? Jumped up on the chair again. I think he's thinking about coming over here, but it's far too big of a jump. If you hear a massive crash, it's because he tried to jump. Buddy, that's not the chair if you want to be going anyway. Okay. <clears throat> but I get some good progress on baseball. I still want to stitch more on a world map, too, just because it's so much fun. I should bring... um. I need to bring the honeybee portrait back out and stitch on that one as well since I'm all crazy about stitching on everything right now with Pattern Keeper. Ah, I almost pulled that out. There we go. Hoi! Hoi, 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 hoi. But life is busy and life is good. It's busy and good. Mark was watching Moana this morning. I gotta say, of the Disney movies, I think oh, some of the more recent ones are our favorites now. The, ow, I'm trying to pop my wrist. Um, I mean, I love Coco. I mean, personally, I love Coco. He loves Moana. And I'm getting a better appreciation for Moana as time goes by. It's really cool.
Mm -hmm. I got dog hair and cat hair everywhere. day. I need a non-emergency kind of day. I can just kind of do my own thing. Help the puppy when the puppy's awake. Otherwise, let the puppy sleep. Get some cleaning done. Listen to some more videos. Videos. Oh yeah, the blues. The blues played today. Boy, they've lost four in a row. We're a little bit of a slump. They're kind of a little out of it right now. They'll refocus for the playoffs. It'll be fun. They got their. Uh, let's see, because it was. They had lost a couple before they were playing in that <coughs> game where Bo Meester went down, and then. Haven't, they haven't quite found their balance again yet. It's okay. No big deal. Let's see, it's what, mid-February? Mid-February. And... I want to get off of these dark colors and do a little light color, right? Let's add some. Let's add some light. Let's add some light into this situation. Let me highlight a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Now I've got Moana. I'm stuck in my head. <laughs> away, away. I sail across the sea. Bum, 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 bum. What a beautiful melody. <sighs> there we go. There we go. There we go. I tell you what, I really want cross stitch collectibles to get Pattern Keeper. It'll be so much easier. You know what? Maybe I'll reach out to him and ask him. I'll reach out to him and ask him. I need to work on my nails. Gee whiz, they're horrible. My fingers are all like... Anyway. Anyway. Let's not get into that, shall we? Let's not do it. All right. Let's go for... How about this for a bright color? Let's do that. I just got to remember which one it is. Which one is it? Which one is it? It's the eye. The eyes have it. Now. Gonna make sure it's something that I've actually not stitched yet. Yeah, perfect. Bum, 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 bum. <coughs> My throat's been a little weird. I'm not getting sick again. It can't happen. It's not gonna happen. It's probably just allergies. Don't you worry. It's all good. Boom, 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 boom. I'm trying to think if I can think of any other cool stories that happened this week. Not to me. I'm tired of talking about me. The other things. Oh, yeah. Well, did you guys hear about the... They finally had ridiculous torrential rainstorms. Like, historic 
rainstorms in uh, Australia has put out, I think, the biggest fires. I don't know if they're all out at this point or at least under mm -hmm. containment, but but yeah, it, it you know, and it's caused issues of its own, flooding and whatnot. But gotta take the good with the bad, and it's better. It is better, which is absolutely amazing. It's so cool. So, time to begin to clean out and rebuild. Sorry, I'm just tying this off up against my butter. If I, could, I need to readjust my... Hold on, I'm gonna move you guys back. A little bit. There we go. When I stitch, I, I usually hold this up against my, my chest. It's just a stabilizing way, and it's just a it's just a weird little way that I stitch. I don't know if you guys do that, too. I don't tend to hold it out like this. I tend to put it up against myself, but when I do these stitch with me, I can't really hold it up against me because I'm not close enough to the camera to do that. But I need to get in a little closer so I can see what I was doing. There's that. I did watch my, it was very weird yesterday. Well, I wasn't really, well, I was stitching. Let's say I was stitching when the puppy was asleep. And then I went to hold the puppy for a while and couldn't really do any stitching. So I started up a movie and I, we just put in the Martian, not put in the Martian. We just started up the Martian and um, watched that. It, it's interesting because we listen to the audiobook of The Martian like all the time. I mean, I've probably, I mean, easily, I'd say, easily over 100 different times I've listened to the book all the way through. Easily. It's what we listen to at night to go to sleep. And there are aspects of the book that are, I mean, I would say if you like The Martian, absolutely like read the book. Because, and I would honestly say listen to the book. Although, no. Reading the book, it was really funny, too, so you could totally do that. Um, but the um, audiobook is really, really good. But the funny thing is, is that you know how sometimes when you, there's a, a movie that is done based on a book and whatnot, and you're like, oh, the movie was better, oh, the book was better. And I gotta say that when it comes to this, I say they're both good. They both give you something different. And you could definitely, you don't have to say, oh, well, I've read the book, so I don't need to see the movie, vice versa. Because there's just some things that are more detailed in the book than the movie, and there's some things that are more detailed in the movie than the book. So it's still one of my favorite favorites of all time. Really good stuff. So, so we watched The Martian. It was weird. We may watch some more stuff today. We'll see. Maybe I'll start listening to a book. We'll see. I said, thankfully, I don't think the puppy's going to require a lot of, in I don't think, a lot of intensive care today still. Not as much as Friday night. Just need the time. But. Here we go. Is that right? Yeah. Nice. Section. So 
So we're supposed to have more snow again on Monday. Gotta say, it might be one of the snowiest Februarys we have ever had. It is crazy. It's really crazy. And cold. Really cold. Okay, what is this? We're going to do this one next. I actually need to go over here, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? Because I have to re... I'm not going to do this one just yet. Because I have to redo my thing here. I don't want to do that. Not right now. Okay. But we can do this one. <laughs> well, did I really finish all that right there? Well, it made it look like it was a lot more stitched than it was. Goodness gracious. Whew. I wanted to take a nap yesterday, but I held off. I was proud of myself. Even though I probably could have used it. We might nap today. I may need it. Okay, let's see here. Um, I want to use this one. I don't have it in a thingy thing, but I'm going to use this one. Which, which color is Ah, yes. Yes, we'll have more to do here. So I'll use it, and then I'm going to put it in a thingy later. Oh, the funny thing is, the um, there are three characters or three actors from. Well, there might even be more than that. Three actors from um, the Martian that are in that were in Marvel movies. There was Winter Soldier, and then I don't remember their names because I haven't watched um, 
Doctor Strange more than once or twice, and I don't remember their names, but it's the um, the guy who starts off as Doctor Strange's like um, cohort, and then he turns evil um, at the end. He gets all mad. Um, that guy, and then um, his chief, uh, the librarian assistant guy. Um, I don't remember their names, but and Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is in that movie. I know you don't recognize him because he's all thin and he's younger, but see, I have a theory about Winter Soldier. See, I think Winter Soldier is really cute, and like he always has been, and I think that they purposefully kind of, you know, grew out his hair. Um, hold on, wait, hold on a second. We're going to have to hold on and hang in here for a second while I get this straightened out. Mm, there. And there. And here. Okay. Uh, see, I think that they, you know, they've grew out his hair, facial hair. He put on some weight, you know, kind of like some muscle mass, but then a little extra weight. Um, just, you know, the kind of weight that, um, you know, how if you go back and look at like the first Avengers movie or the first, uh, first couple of other movies with, um, Captain America or Thor or whatnot, they kind of look thicker, they look bigger. And then as the movies go on, they kind of look more cut. Um, they kind of had Winter Soldier looking just bigger and then, you know, just you couldn't you couldn't really see his face and whatnot. And then in the new TV show that he's coming out with, um, on um, whatever, they've kind of shaved him, cut his hair, made him look a bit more um, clean cut. And you can see how cute he is. And my theory is they didn't want him to be cuter than Chris Evans, so they kind of made him not look as cute. That's my theory. What do you guys think? I'm, st I'm sticking with it, though. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Beep, 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 beep. But anyway, that's my theory. But he's in, he's very young looking and this movie. So, perfect. Oh, I finally watched, speaking of Marvel or whatever, finally watched Into the Spider-Verse. Is that what it's called? Into the Spider-Verse? The animated movie? Now, if you like Marvel movies and you're okay with watching a, uh, um, an animated movie, totally watch it. And even if you're not really into Marvel movies, but you're okay with animated movies, watch it. It is so good. We uh, Back when I was not feeling well one day, it was after I was sick, but I still wasn't feeling great, um... My husband, he's been telling me for like a year that I have to watch this movie. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And finally on this one day, he just turns it on, takes the remote control so I can't do anything about it, and just turns it on. And I'm like, oh, man, I wasn't really wanting to watch a movie. And so I was being kind of a baby about it. And uh, let's see, hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm, yes. And uh, I was kind of stitching a little. I was kind of listening to a video and some different things. And I got to tell you, I was 10 minutes into the movie, and I had put all that aside, and I had turned and focused completely on the movie until it was over. It was so good. So well done. Um, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. 
kind of like Klaus. I don't know, did I talk about Klaus uh, when we watched it last year? Was it last year or this past, I think it was this past holiday season. And I found Klaus on, I don't know if it was Amazon or if it was Netflix. I think it was Amazon. Um, oh, so good. Got nominated for an Oscar, didn't win. It was unfortunate. Toy Story 4 won. I haven't seen Toy Story 4. I don't have a lot of interest in seeing it because I really felt like 3 wrapped up the story. So I wasn't really interested in seeing 4. Um, but Klaus, oh my goodness, so good. Love the animation style. We were rooting for it. And it did not win. Oh well. Filling it in. Ah. Okay. Hmm. That food did me good. I did me wrapped. Man, there is this video that came out. And I love it because it's just so southern. And when I uh, when I can get some good southern talking, I love it. It's uh, There's this thing that's... Um, <laughs> somebody... There's these two people that were, I want to say, where was it? Was it, I think it was Kentucky. Um, <laughs> there was uh, this couple that were drunk, and they were looking, they were driving around, stupidly, and looking for a, um, uh, <laughs> looking for a, a pond to go swimming in. And uh, I guess they were already in, like, well, the woman, I think, was already in her bathing suit. I'm not sure what the guy was dressed in, but... They um, they got a little tied up, turned around, or whatever. They ended up running into like this post or whatever. But unbeknownst to them, there was a beehive on the other side of that post. And when the um, uh, when they um, got out of the car to like check the damage or whatever, the bees come swarming out and come at them, and they start biting them and whatnot. Now they're okay. They didn't have like serious anaphylactic reactions or anything. But they were, they ran over to the house next door, and they grabbed the um, um, uh, uh, what do you call it a hose, and they started trying to hose themselves off to hose the bees off. And there was a guy, I guess it was his house, and he was outside, and he saw the whole thing. And uh, oh my god, <laughs> such classic Southern! Oh my god, it was so awesome. Um, I loved it. It was just the best. Um, he was like, well, these, these folks, they came out now, and then they got the bees stung, and then they came over to my house, and then there was, I had got, gone to get my phone because I was going to play some games on my phone. And <laughs> Oh, man, I love it. Oh, I love it. Um, and I'm not making fun of them. I, this is what I grew up with, and I, it, it brings back memories, and it makes me smile. And uh, it's, it's just awesome. Birds. Birds. I still have them covered up, but they can hear me. Birds. I'm a highlight in. All right. And reckon I will do some three ten. We're gonna finish up the darkest of the dark colors.
black as night. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a nap today. I think that would be lovely. Let me see. I'm gonna pull this over to me so that I can find where I'm supposed to start here. Who oh, daddy? Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Maybe we'll watch ourselves some Apollo 13. It's been a little bit of time since we've seen it. And, uh,. a good one to watch. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Whew, I'm going to take a morning nap. I got to tell you, I'm tired. I got to bed at a good time last night. I think I was asleep by a little after 10. And I slept till about 6.30. So that was a good night's sleep. I think I'm just still kind of catching up on some stuff here. some laundry done. As I said, it's a good day to get some cleaning done. It's going to be one of those days where I'm going to be like sitting at the computer working on some stuff, doing some stitching for like, I do this, I, I do this, I modify this thing called, have I talked about this before? It's called the Pomodoro technique and it's Pomodoro from a standpoint of um, studying, but I've been using a variation of it for stitching and cleaning for years. And what it is, is it's a, the goal of it is that you get work done, but you take breaks throughout doing stuff so that you don't burn out too fast. And you, I don't know, I, the way I do it is I combine getting stitching done or working on the computer or something and cleaning or organizing or something along those lines that I don't like to do but I'm okay with doing it like 10 minutes at a time. And so I'll work on work stuff, or not work, but you know, work my blog or, or maybe I'm stitching or whatever, and I'm doing some stuff that I'm wanting to do, and then I'll get in about 45 minutes, and they'll be like, all right, it's 10 till the hour. Let me get up and for 10 minutes clean or work on something that I normally wouldn't just wake up and start doing and that helps me because gotta say guys at times I can be kind of mentally weak about cleaning and doing stuff which is sad because I have six dogs and they get messy say the uh the old uh 
vacuum cleaner and rug cleaner get quite the workout in my home. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of how I do things, and so <laughs> it's it, it's the opposite of how my husband does things. He just he'll just kind of like he puts everything he has into whatever he's doing, and that's how it is. And he's he's excellent at like um, you know if if the kitchen needs to be cleaned or whatever, and he'll do it when I'm at work or. He'll do it on a Sunday morning before I get up or whatever, and um, but he just he just goes at it hard and you know solid hour gets it all done, looks great, smells great, and uh, I'm not like that. I mean, I'm just not like that. So it's all right. We know how each other are, and we just you know if one feels like it's. Like, okay, I just want to do this, then we just let the person do it. Just go for it. Stitching done really fast here. Get ahead of myself. through again. I thought I heard the puppy. Okay, that's one off. And then we're gonna do one more strand of black. And then that's probably be it for the old stitch we made for this time. Do, 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 do. Well, I'll get this thing loaded up and get it uploaded. Had some issues last week trying to do it, like I always do. Not always do, but had to had to restart it. I think once. Not a big deal. Just delays it. One of these days, I'll get I'll get my mind wrapped around the idea of actually doing it on Thursday. I do my my uh, one video on Thursday and then I do well my one video my weekly update on Thursday um, night or Wednesday night and then come back in and do um, sorry I thought I heard him again it's not, it's not him it's the TV I think um, do him on Thursday night and then um, or sorry do Wednesday night and then Thursday do the stitch with me that would be smart. That would be really smart. Because then I'd have all kinds of time to, you know, upload it. And then I could put it out. I could always put it out first thing Saturday morning. I really, that's a really great idea, Julie. You need to do that. Mm. Well, I will try. Ooh, that's what I got to do. I got to get my taxes together because we've got a, an appointment on Thursday. 
get that done. That's always a big deal to get that done. What have I done? Oh, that's because I'm way down here. That's why it, I was like, where am I? What's going on? But anyway, so. So much to do. Not enough hours in the day. Nice chunk of this one done. Still gotta just get a pot carry shop together. It's been silly. It's fighting me. It's fighting me good. I had a crazy dream last night. I had a dream that I was kind of trying to get away from something. I was with a big group of people and we were. detailed. Maybe it was inspired by the Martian. Trying to get away from Mars. Run away. Okay, let me highlight a second. Because it's getting confusing. Stitch it is so much fun. But there's so many things that are fun. I could see that if I was a knitter, gee whiz, I'd be knitting things all the time for people. Just constantly. See a baby in the street. Knit a little cap for him. That would be fun. Knit sweaters for dogs. That'd be funny. I'd love to. I still need to do some work on it as well today, or at least this week sometime, before the thing. Before the thing. Get some stuff done on that. And 
baseball. And then I'll probably go back and keep working on a world map too because it's so flipping fun right now. It'll be interesting as I'm doing old world map too. You know how I always run into problems at the end of a piece where I'm like, well, what color do I need here? And what color do I need there? Like, because I can't find, either I can't find the color or I um, can't figure out exactly what I'm missing just because of just how 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 detailed the pattern is and and how many different color changes there are I'm trying to find like what I'm missing because I just don't finish one square at a time which is what I should do but it's not what I do and uh this should you know pattern keeper should really 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 help with that really really We shall see. Tuda, tuda, I say tuda. Well, we made some progress. We filled in a little bit through here. Filled in some more here, here, up here. For an hour, it's pretty decent for a stitch with me. I'm always slowed down with a stitch with me, but that's good progress. I hope you guys made progress on what you're doing. That would be cool. Oh, we're getting there though. We're getting there. Let's pull this back out. So we're right, right about here, there. So but we gotta go all the way back up here, finish all this little stuff that we've left blank, fill it in so that this piece actually starts to look as gorgeous as it should. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start working on some stuff, but I gotta get this video uploaded for y'all. I hope you have a great day. Um, let me know if you have any, oh, my chair is being weird have any uh, questions, comments, um, I will do a um, giveaway on this channel for Ronnie Rowe probably in a couple of weeks or so. Um, kind of spread out a few giveaways here and there. Um, and so be mindful that if you, uh, if you're somebody who listens to entire my entire videos, that's who I'm going to focus on uh, trying to give something away to would be awesome um, something that you guys will love I hope piece of art so I love it thank you guys so much if you're still here I appreciate it very much I can't believe you listened to me Babylon for an hour my husband does it though so somebody can do it but <laughs> uh, you guys have a great day and I will see you on Thursday <laughs>